Okay, welcome to the third session. We are going to talk about the variables. As you saw, we always run our Python IDLE, at least in the beginning sessions, and we see how you can do different calculations. But there is a concept which makes your life much easier. It is called variables. Variables are like placeholders in the memory. This is your computer's memory. When whatever you do, something is being saved somewhere in the memory okay when you are calculating the number of some uh, company for example as we did in the previous session but it's difficult to manage what you have calculated so the way they overcome this in programming languages it's variables variables are like names dedicated to these places so for example if i as an example want i want to calculate how many hours i've been alive I'm 41 years old, years and four months and 20 days. Okay, and now it is uh, 14 o'clock. 14 o'clock. Okay, so I want to see how many hours I've been alive. I have to multiply this to the number of hours in per each year, then multiply this to the odd hours of... Oh, it's difficult. Let's start. See, if I want to do it in one session, it's difficult. But what I will do, I will say, okay, years is 41, months is 4, and days is 20 and hours is 14. See what I did? I create a variable somewhere which is called years and it equals to 41. If I say years, it will be 41. This is makes life much easier and how I'm defining this, I will name my variable equals to whatever I want. Okay? So, years is 41 months is this so how many days i've been alive it is easy i can say years multiply by sorry trees plus months okay it's not that easy but i will say 30 just an average something plus days this is a days i've been alive why i didn't use parentheses from the previous session because computer knows that, and I know that, multiply operator has a highest high priority compared with plus. So first Python will calculate this, then Python will calculate this, then Python will calculate this, then we'll add them to each other. I always accept a cleaner solution is always using parentheses. So you're sure what you're doing. There is no misunderstanding between you and Python. Okay, if I wanted to see how many hours I should have done, something is touching my mouse. I should have done multiply the whole thing to 24 hours. I added one parenthesis here, so the computer will know how to react. See, what I did is I have my same calculation here. This is number of days. I add one parenthesis and so I said after all this calculation multiply it to 24 hours. This is the answer. If I wanted the exact number I had to add in the end the hours because 14 hours passed from today. This is how I can do these calculations. You see it's much cleaner than inputting all the numbers here because nobody will later know what are these but now it's clear also it's easier because if tomorrow comes i say okay now days is 21 so now days is 20 sorry days was 20 now i will change it to 21 and i can do the same calculation and get the new number this is good thing about the variables also you can let's do one example i want to order pizza for today's dinner sorry lunch and i'm not sure which one is better it's hard time financially 
So I have to think about if it's better if I get a larger pizza or not. I'm talking about how many square inches I get per dollar. Let's see. I can have two different pizzas. Pizza one, pizza two. Or this is the large one, this is the medium one. Each pizza will have some variables. For example, I will define one D, D1 and D2, which is for diameter, diameter of the pizza one, diameter of the pizza two, price of pizza one, price of pizza two. Also, what else do I need? Nothing more. If I have the diameter and price, I can calculate the price per inch one, price per inch two, and then see which one is better for me. Let's find the answer to these questions. Fortunately, we have something which is called internet. I can say, let's do Pizza Hut sizes. Uh, a medium one is 12 inches, a large one is 14 inches. So, D1 is, this is the large one, 14. D2 is 12. I found these two. I'm just creating variables to make my calculations easier. Let's check the prices. Pizza Hut price menu. Ah, directly we found it. Pepperoni lovers. This is good. Okay, so Pizza Pepperoni lovers large is $14.99. So P1 is $14.99. P2 is $11, I think, huh? $11.99. I need the number pi. So pi is 3. 14. I can calculate the area 1. Area 1 is... No, let's calculate the R first because my formula is area is pi to the R2, which is R is half of the D. So R1 is D1 divided to 2. See, I can use even my variables here. So it's much, much, much easier. R2 is D2 divided by 2. Now I have R1 and I have R2. This is much easier and nicer. So area 1 is pi multiplied by R1 to the power of and area 2 is pi r2 to the power of 2. I have the area of pizza 1, area of pizza 2. Area of pizza 1 is, area of pizza 2 is. It's large. Okay, so what's about the variable I called PPI? Price per inch of pizza 1. PPI 1 is price of pizza 1 divided to area of pizza 1, right? Yes, I believe. And PPI 2 is, oh sorry, I, PPI is, PPI 2 is price of pizza 2 divided to area of pizza 2. So, PPI is, PP2 is. So, it's much better if I buy a smaller pizza. I will have a better advantage if we are speaking about a price per inch, square pin. Inch is a more correct phrase. This is how I'm using variables. As you saw, I can do calculations based on the variables. I can say, for example, uh, A is 1, B is 2, C is A plus 2, sorry, A plus B. This is how you can do 
more complex calculations calculate the first parts of your calculation first then use the result in the next calculations as we did with the pizza price you can play a little bit with the variables but i believe now you have the general understanding there are a few points on python your variables should start with one of the letters whatever a b c d f g tilde z capital or small also you can start your variables with the underscore character which is this one with the shift so uh, my age the acceptable variable name although a little bit strange but in general it is possible and we use it occasionally based on some specific logic normally at this level we won't use these kind of variables but as you saw we can use the uh, underscore character in our variables also you can use numbers but you cannot start with numbers as you saw we have the p1 price of pizza 1 or my age 10 is 15 this is just a confusing example because my age 10 is the name of your variable also you can change them I can say my age 10 now is 4 so if you watch same thing this will happen this is a way for making things much easier and on the next stages doing things more practically doing more complex things using variables we will see and we have different kind of variables in python which are maybe a couple of sessions later i will review so the last point is like many other professional programming languages there is a difference between capital and small letters if a is 4 and a is 3 a is 4 and a is 3 so if i define something like uh, my age is 60 i cannot say give me my age divided to 3 it will give you an error we will see these errors in more details later but as you can see it says name my age is not defined because you defined it with a small letters it's a good practice to use underscore between different parts of your variable name for example this is a good variable price of pizza this is much better than price of pizza as you can tell now there is no technical difference between these two but this is considered more cleaner more pythonic word a better handwriting if someone sees your code with a variable code like this it will be confusing they will know that you have not taken your code seriously or you are not a good programmer i don't know there are good programmers with these kind of variables for different reasons but it is better to write as pythonists enjoy it would be great if you can write some program for yourself see how many seconds have you lived what will happen if you live to the 100 years old how many seconds you have had and this kind of stuff just to play with the variables on the next session we will go for some more advanced things and more fun things although this was fun at least in my idea at least i know that it's better to order the medium pizza price per inch is better